Hey guys, Tony from PA here. So, I want to know if you guys have, like, a preferred place to take a shit whenever you're on the road for a road trip. Me, personally, I live in central Pennsylvania, so there's always sheets around. Uh, so, I typically always go to a sheet. I've always had good experiences with their bathrooms. Uh, but, like, if it's not an emergency, obviously I wait for them. But if it's a big emergency, I stop by the nearest gas station that's there and go destroy that toilet. So, yep. yeah, I want to know what your favorite go-to rest stop is when you have to take a shit on the road. You are! No, no. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah, boss! <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> oh, yeah! Go! Welcome to episode 882 of Hard Factor. It is Friday. Nice. Uh, yeah, unzip 18th. it, baby. <laughs> Let it loose. <laughs> Let it loose. Ooh, you got the whole thing down. Nice. Yeah. I got a little going here myself. <laughs> got chest hair. West, you, you got like a, what, a turtleneck on? The opposite. Oh, no. I got my, uh, my Oh, that's Van a Van Gogh shirt. shirt. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, How much is that? $100? It's so easy. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's now it's great. worth like a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> goes up in value the longer, yeah. the longer you, just like a real painting uh yeah it's friday february 18th 2022 thank you for cheating on the news with us uh we got mark wes and i'm will pat is not with us today he is working at the the premiere right of the new texas chainsaw massacre is that what's going on where he's at? that's correct mm-hmm. they're doing a double feature the original texas Ooh, chainsaw what? massacre which um he's friends with the guy who wrote that and his and his son and he that's kind of how he got involved and uh they're doing that first a double feature then they're going to introduce i think think like robert rodriguez is there to introduce at the draft house like the new movie yeah and then they're doing i think wes and i might go see the new movie we're recording it it's like a late night thursday night thing um Mm -hmm. at the draft house and then today friday um it's on netflix so everyone that has netflix or even if you don't get netflix so right and now stre- stream Watch the it. new texas chainsaw massacre for our boy pat get get those yeah. numbers up that's right get it in there get it in there uh also shout out to uh dairy man adam he sent us uh oh, some yeah. new uh west wind farms uh tank tops oh Ooh, yeah oh, oh, oh excited but to take this to the beach take it to florida drink some milk mm-hmm. you know you know what i mean <laughs> well it's, yeah. i mean it's a milk yeah. farmer's shirt but oh, i'm gonna yeah. be I'm going to be slamming some beers. This Maybe time. a milk stout, you know? Yeah, I mean? <laughs> yeah. right, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what we're talking about today in this show, uh, we got cup of coffee in the big time. I've got that. going to be mostly Putin free, thankfully. That's good, right? Lots of water yes. stuff. Lots mm-hmm. of water stuff in there, though. Nice. The mean, mean old ocean. What's in the TikTok international moment, Mark? Well, you know, it's Friday, so we're going to stay domestic. I'm going to hit you with a nice little Florida Man Friday one, and then maybe we're going to go to a neighboring state, which often acts a little bit Florida-ish as well. Ooh, A couple, couple dum-dums in a couple states. Florida, no. <laughs> Mississippi? Uh, Alabama. Okay. Yeah. That was close. Yeah. A yeah. lot of dum-dums there. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> speaking, of, speaking of dum-dums, Bubba, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> uh, got him. He'll never know. Got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one day, one day. Uh, Wes, what you what you get? What you have voicemails and reviews? I How got voicemails and reviews. Uh, 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 actually, uh, I want to just applaud the Hive and listeners mm-hmm. for the uh, content of the voicemails this week. Lots of great questions. Um, just there's a beautiful array of voicemails, um, and only exactly. two comments. Um, so we're going to read those and, uh, just, just a fantastic job this week. So hats off. Did Rupert call back in the guy who was like, this is post just kidding. No, Rupert, we did not name. hear from Rupert. Oh, we got, Am- we got Amish. What's his name? Amish oh, Brock. Nice. Yeah, we got Amish another, Brock. Another, another fact. <laughs> nice. Love nice. it. Yeah. Love it. Uh, also remember today is Friday, Florida man, Friday. Mark's got mm-hmm. some stories for you here, but you can get all the other Florida man stories on the extended episode of Florida man Friday out now on patreon.com slash hard factor it was a good one uh we got mm-hmm. a tour of uh pat's uh like the the airbnb he the chainsaw people are staying in because he did the the episode from there so he, it comes with a tour of that wow um and uh just a lot of good stories a lot of classic florida man stories a lot of petty crimes you know 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's there's good one. great That's locations, too. Disney World, right? And there's. Oh, sco- Disney World, right? Nudity. Sco- scooters are involved. Yeah. Oh, so, man. Yeah. Some yeah, good ones. Suitcase scooters. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that one's great. Classic. Yeah. Get in there. That it's, it's another great Florida Man Friday, as always. Remember, patreon.com slash hard factor. You, you get all the Florida Man Fridays we've done in there for the last year plus. So pretty damn good. Look at the size of this water. My girlfriend yeah. buys my girlfriend buys these waters to hand out to homeless people. At, I'm out of water, so now I'm just drinking the homeless water at Why my house. Why can't you just get regular <laughs> sized water? They're that much cheaper. Yeah, well, it's just it's so she can give hand out more. Ah. Uh, yeah, so just to make your hands look bigger. <laughs> yeah. I'm just pounding the homeless water over here. Yeah. <laughs> you send you send a dick pic next to the water bottle. That mm-hmm. water bottle, right? Like it's, yeah. yeah, for depth Look perception. Up, you're, Whoa! You're the it's bottle. tip to tip. <laughs> Speaking of that, I watched the Andre uh, Andre the Giant documentary. The uh, there was a, a recent one that came out, and they've they've got some awesome pictures of him holding beers and stuff. It's fun. Yeah, oh, it's funny. That documentary is great. Well, that see that water to you, you 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 know you pound it in two sips. That's like what a beer was to Andre the Giant. It was like yeah. just like two gulps, and he was like, oh, I yeah. drink a drink- hundred beers. It didn't f- factor yeah. in. The best part would he was he would drink cases of wine to pregame. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. He, like he a drank full a full case, yeah. A case of wine, like a case of beer. A that night. Guy was a he drank yeah. twelve bottles of wine for dinner a yeah. night. What a machine. Man. <laughs> if you ever <laughs> if you tough. ever go to the, uh, the Caribbean <laughs> and you drink like a Heineken or something, they have small they have the small Heineken bottles down there. So you feel like Andre the Giant if you ever nice. go there. They have yeah. they have like the eight ounces. The great feeling. Yeah. Great. <laughs> All right. Uh you guys ready to do the news? Hell yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do the news. Cup of coffee in the big time is up first. Yeah. Cup of coffee in the big time. Holidays, history, and trending news. But first, a fun fact. Uh, did you know that scientists discovered uh, just last year that orcas are so unchallenged, apex predators in the ocean, that they can even hunt blue whales? Uh, yeah. Blue whales grow up to 110 feet long. So pretty impressive. Yeah. Smart. It takes a lot of coordination too. To yeah, like we did 50 think, to 75 of them. I think we did this orcas. one, right? I showed uh, you. The, no, yeah. it was it was someone Blue sent whale. us a tweet. No, about no, it. We, we've been oh, passing it around. The show? We've been passing oh, okay. it around behind the scenes. But yes, no, this yeah. is uh it's it's a relatively they, new side. I thought because they they no, they um I did it because they I showed it on the show, they eat their tongues. That, that was that a sperm whale or a blue whale? I think whale. I think that was a different type of whale. Was it a blue mm-hmm. whale? Mm-hmm. Oh, it was a blue whale? Oh, yeah. yeah right. they, oh, yeah, because it was the biggest They swim inside there. their mouths while they're alive and eat their tongues. That's the mo- mo- most Was that the one from uh, Australia? Uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, that same yeah. study. Well, thank you, yeah. Mark. You had already, you're already, right, but they're, that's pretty smart, right? Pretty. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty they, impressive. It is. They, they fucking murk blue whales constantly, apparently. Okay, well, yeah. th- mm. I'd, I'd forgotten Mark already told us this is a fun fact, but it's pertinent to today's show. We'll talk okay. more about the orcas later on. So well, now no one will forget it. So had to bring it back up. Yeah, yeah. Double time. That's like writing it down. Now, you know, it forever. <laughs> um, uh, February 18th holidays. Um, it is cow milked while flying in an airplane day. Hmm. I don't know what the fuck that is. But what does that mean? I'm How assuming that they milk the cow in an air in an airplane like someday in history, maybe. Oh, I, I was thinking like you get Gatorated, like you get the cow milk dumped on your head on your first flight or something like that. I don't oh, know. I don't they, know. Like slimed, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, yeah. Could just mean like a pilot gets a blowjob. I don't know. Oh yeah, ooh, or like, or like he's job. sucking, he's sucking on titties. Yeah, yeah. Would that be yeah. Mile High Club Day? <laughs> yeah, uh, I think it's an actual bovine cow. cow. Mm. Yeah, I think it's yeah. a bovine. But Captain ooh, uh, Cow. <laughs> somebody, somebody Google that. Uh, crab stuff flounder day. Drink wine day. Nice. Uh, under, under the, the giant. giant. Love, yeah. me, love this day. I, I eat ice cream for breakfast day. Unhealthy, but delicious. Okay. Mm. Uh, National Battery Day, National Caregivers Day, National Hate Florida Day. So Whoa, fuck that. Hey, uh, Whoa. that one needs to be stricken from the record. Holy shit. Uh, Budo Day, Thumb Appreciation Day and World Information Architecture Day. OK, mm. yeah, I shouldn't have read Hate Florida Day. Sorry. About That's that. bullshit. That well, was a Ron Burgundy yeah. moment. Just whatever comes on the old teleprompter there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, a cow. It. The cow milking day is um, a cow named uh, Nellie J was flown from uh, Bismarck, Missouri, um, and they it was a, like extremely heavily milk producing cow. Huh. So they needed they had to milk him on a they had to get the uh, pressure off the udders. Right. That's right. Yeah. It's Shout like, out it's like Adam and Tim girl. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah. What a hectic flight, right? Got to keep those nips <laughs> clear, you know? Sounds like a terrible flight. Yeah. You got to milk a cow. Yeah. Yeah, like a pregnant woman. Yeah. yeah but you become a man that day if you if you make it through it or a woman. That's true. Yeah. Whenever you're, true. you're an adult after that. Uh, okay. Today in history, February 18th in 1519. Uh, Hernan Cortez, General Cortez, left uh, Cuba for the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico with 11 ships, 500 men. And he went on to, yeah, you know, have his way. Cortez, um, that's right. What's that? Yeah, Cortez, yeah. Uh, Cortez is gold, right? Isn't that that's like right. the, the, the basis of a lot of legends? Cortez is I gold. I believe so, yeah. Uh, 1678, John Bunyan's uh, Pilgrim's Progress was published in London. Uh, by Nathaniel Ponder. I guess that's a important Missed book that for one. the pilgrims there, maybe. Yeah. Uh, 1861, King Victor Emmanuel II of Sardinia became the first king of Italy. That's pretty badass. Yeah. First king. First king of Italy is really cool. Yeah. Also, late to have your first king, 1861. Like, I guess they had emperors before then, or like yeah, Roman emperors. Dicta yeah. yeah. Dicta yeah. I don't know. Uh, in uh, 1885, Mark Twain publishes the adventures of huckleberry finn in the united nice. states uh in Classic. 1917 first major strike of uh the russian uh february revolution starts uh at the giant uh put uh putilov factory in petro petrograd petrograd hmm. Hmm. so okay. i guess that's a russian revolution 1917 i'm guessing that's when the commies came up probably sound yeah. about right and then check this out pertinent to today 2014 ukrainian revolution of 2014 begins as protesters riot police and unknown shooters take part in violent events in the capital of kiev culminating after five days in the ouster of president uh victor yankovich um but that also kind of like led to the annexation of Ukraine, i think like immediately um, sounds about right yeah so that is rearing its head these days also bonus history 1930 Pluto was discovered. That's on cool. February 18th. So discovering a planet's pretty cool. You got to yeah. feel pretty good about yourself. Guy in yeah. Arizona yeah. named Clyde W. Tomba. Oh, man. He should have been like, can we call it Tomba? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hang on a second. I think I got something. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a star. Whoa. Okay, that's got to be an amazing okay, feeling, Tomba. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think Should've I discovered it. a planet, guys. Holy yeah. shit, guys. Sure, Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> They're all drinking. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, nobody believed Clyde. No. Yeah. no. It took Clyde yeah. years to, to prove it. Um, Okay, that's it. History. Uh, trending news. Going through the top trends for to discuss for this episode. First up, honorable mentions. The Champions League. Ever heard of it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Big soccer tournament happens every year. Okay. Liverpool, PSG, and Man City all did well this week. They won. Uh, and then the rest of leg one of the round of 16 is next Tuesday and Wednesday. And then leg two of the round of 16 will start on March 8th. Okay. So yeah, it's a I long think it ends, tournament. I think it always ends in like May. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Like 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 early, like late spring. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so it's a long spanning tournament. But. Once again, those are some teams that did pretty good last year, except for Liverpool, I think. Play the hits. Manchester you know, PSG, in Champions definitely. League, I like to see the, the best teams advance. I don't like to see the upsets. Like, right. So, well, the, then you're the get, bigger the team, the better. Yeah. You're getting your way, Mark, so yeah. far. Uh, also, uh, Europa League is going on in footy as well. That's not the biggest team. So, Mark, no, you don't need to watch that one. Um, Netflix announced Thursday that Stranger Things uh, is going to end after season five. Okay. And that season four starts on may 27th there's a picture from the promo it's about um, time yeah it's been three years uh it's gonna be three years from season three um and this season four it's actually gonna uh release in two volumes like of multiple episodes the first is may 27th the second is july 1st right before two holiday weekends of people binge them on so uh, okay I really think they ruined that series. I wish they, it just would have been about the girl and her powers and not all this other crazy world shit. Really took yeah. me out of it. What do they got? Yeah. George R.R. R. Martin writing these things? It takes yeah. three and a half, four years. <laughs> That's a good point. I, the first one was so good, and then the second yeah. one not yeah. as good. That like, And there was, the drop-off was so substantial. Oh. Well, the season was one hard was, to come back. Season one was so unique. Winona Ryder made a big comeback. Right. And it had all of the nostalgia of the 90s the synth music and all the stuff yeah you, you kind of like slowly lost it 
because you knew it was coming this you knew the nostalgia is going to be there you know like so yeah i agree with you it's gotten slightly worse i'm still obviously going to binge the oh fuck, i'm still fuck gonna out watch it. the hell out of it I, yeah. and, and knowing that it ends in five seasons yeah that's I, good. i'm good with that that's, that's good I, yeah like season one was so good just just i'll just take the extra the four is uh icing on top you know? could rewatch them too mm-hmm. you know leading yeah. up to it the last four yeah mm. You could. Uh, I will. Uh, okay. Um, that is again May twenty seventh, when that first one, season four, drops. Okay. Uh, first, the first Victoria's Secret model with Down syndrome uh, has been named, and it is Puerto Rican model Sophia Girau. Nice, right there. She's wow. twenty four years old. Sophia is going to be in the um, ad line for the Love Cloud collection. There's a uh, one of her photos that she's going to has in that collection. Um, and it's just cool. She's this the first might, first model might, ever hired by Victoria's Secret. Very cool. Down. This might backfire on me, but I mean it with all kindness. It's got to be tough raising a daughter. Well, like, you know, like fun, fending off guys. Could you imagine a hot Down syndrome daughter? How scary that would be? It's like, yeah, guys oh, coming after her. You'd be like, yeah, they're always going to yeah. be coming after. Yeah. Her. Right. Yeah. Now that she's in the, the, the now she's in and the I know Down syndrome people more. are very oh, intelligent and they're capable and stuff. But I'm just saying that would be an extra layer of. Oh my man, I hate this. Guys are coming after her. Yeah, her dad must have had a hard time. Yeah, they also got to keep an eye on her because she, you know, she's liable to tell all the secrets. You know what I mean? (laughs) It looks like she's still close. Thank you for bailing me out. So (laughs) so I think, so I think it went well. I think it went well. Um, And uh, like he did the last insensitive joke. (laughs) Yeah, twenty-four years old. She's very happy. (laughs) No, very happy. She looks 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 very good. She looks great. Good I did feel a little weird her. looking at her in a bra. I've got to be honest with you, but um... no, she's 24. It's all good. Okay. Well, Wes, I mean, I think she's the first of more to come, so you might well, have to. She looks be uncomfortable. great. Um, all right. Blue news mention. Uh, Secretary of State A. Blinken assured uh, the United Nations Minsk Council on Thursday that, quote, I am here today not to start a war, but to prevent one. Uh, but then That's he also. Good. Uh, he and uh, said that he and President Biden still expect an imminent invasion via false flag right. event. But when time. it definitely does happen, we are going right. to fucking ruin them. <laughs> yeah. Not starting anything. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, but, uh, yeah. So that same as always. Um, so it's still insane over there on the old border. There was mm-hmm. also West the mortar thing. There was mortar. Mm-hmm. Ukraine claimed that Russia fired the mortars on them on a kindergarten. They, they had the pictures of it. Uh, and also Russia claims that Ukraine fired mortars on them. Uh, so we'll see. Apparently, this has been going on for eight years. Kind yeah, of like, the Russo, been having a border kind of like Northern years. Ireland. Remember so the Russo-Ukrainian war? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, it's 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 the the ceasefires, uh, you know, in place gets right. violated constantly all the right. time. Um, but the, the reason like that Israel Palestine, kind of like Northern yeah. Ireland back in the day, IRA exactly. stuff. But they're saying it was weird that because Russia usually never reports on it, so the, right. the, the, the Russia media like reported on it, made it a big deal. Was why it was like well, all kinds and of also the kindergarten going on. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the kindergarten that got hit. Yeah. Um, Don't uh, shoot kindergarten. So. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It like blew out a wall there. Um, yeah. But uh, so far, no invasion. Luckily, or hopefully, mm-hmm. it is day 32 of the imminent invasion window, which is extended. Biden says it's still any time. Okay. Uh, also, last bit of blue news. Uh, Joy Behar, uh, the View spokesperson, or like of course. The host, yeah. Yeah. she says mm-hmm. that she may wear a mask indefinitely, which, cool story, Joy. I don't know. Or, Nobody cares, right. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to let you know. All right. Okay, Joy. Okay, on to the red news. Got to keep it balanced. Uh, New York Supreme Court Judge Arthur N. Goron uh, ruled on Thursday that former President Donald Trump and his two eldest children, Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump, uh, must sit for depositions in the civil investigation into their business practices at the Trump Organization. Uh, the judge uh, denied the Trump's efforts to quash the subpoenas issued in December by uh, New York Attorney General Letitia James. So the Trump's got to go to court. They got to sit through this, uh, you know, shady business practice. I'm getting worried about my bet with Wes about Trump and Biden. Oh, he's running for office. Oh, you New- should New- be. Well, New- <laughs> yeah. this, the New- state of New York is kind of forcing it. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Like with all these. Oh, yeah. They're giving him a play. Yeah. They're, like, they're giving him a reason to keep to going to trial yes. until you're president again. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> they're giving him a good reason to run. Give me, yeah, they're like, give me one reason why you're not going to show up to court. Oh, you're Fine. president. Like, yeah. <laughs> Fine, yeah, I'll run for president. Yeah. I'll be president then. Fine. The bluest fucking state in the country is forcing him to run for president. <laughs> yeah. Fine, I'll pardon myself then. After they didn't bar him from running, Mark, remember that yeah, while they yeah. had Congress. Way to go, have. New York. <laughs> yep. Um, also, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, Mark, they're fucking you in your bet. Uh, also, yeah. also, Elon Musk tweeted this, uh, but since deleted it about Justin Trudeau, he tweeted this is the last bit of red yeah, news. He tweeted, uh, stop comparing me to Justin Trudeau. I had a budget. And it's <laughs> oh, so funny, Elon. <laughs> it's a picture of Hitler um, and Elon himself uh, has made fun of people for over using yeah. Hitler comparisons. So yeah. it was so weird that he tweeted that he about Justin Trudeau. Up. What an idiot. That was so stupid. He's a dumbass. Yeah, we deleted it. So good yeah, delete on that for the horrible meme. Uh, but Trudeau did recently tell a Jewish MP that she was supporting Nazism and things of that nature. And he's also going after the truckers pets. Yes. So, this is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Elon is really upset about that. And that's oh, probably why he posted this dumbass meme. According to like the yeah. Ottawa, like police twi Twitter account or something, they released a statement that said, uh, and they showed a picture of a truck with a dog hanging out the window. And they're like, for any trucker protester that like can't take care of their dog for uh, we will board them at your cost for eight days. And the implication there is that you're arrested. So like yeah, if you got like arrested or uh, you're not at your truck for eight days, they're going to throw you in jail and you have eight days to make arrangements to go pick up the dog that you are also paying for at the pound. And if you don't eight days from then, they're going to like basically euthanize them yeah, you want to so see some pissed off truckers that's a bad idea <laughs> wait till wait yeah. till they start killing Whoa. their dogs yeah. oh yeah that's a bad idea it's, it's gonna be uh, like a literal like that talk about an imminent invasion watch yeah. out yeah. killing a trucker's <laughs> pet that they bring with them on the road is yeah. like not so, a good idea no here's yeah. here's the imminent invasion i predict the first day they euthanize one of the truckers dogs that's gonna be an invasion <laughs> that's gonna <laughs> that's... flip the whole country oh man someone's <laughs> they're gonna come very it's going to get violent if they start killing the tr truckers dogs please, yeah. please don't do that canada yeah yeah so anyways also must yeah. tweet was insane that's why he deleted yeah. it they should delete that idea of killing the dogs yep um, also what uh, a cool dog to have though you know like if if like like that's like a prized adoption dog like one of the truckers dogs kind of cool to have you know like it's like a bet stern well, or a stern that's cat. true but what if the trucker comes for you bet yeah you better get a security system with that dog oh, yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> You just all of a sudden at 3 a.m. you hear a car like a truck horn. Uh, uh, you're like, fuck, you found me. Some air brakes coming yeah. out of your street. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Honey, quick, get the dog the fuck out of here. Yeah. Oh shit. All right. Uh moves us to number two today. We got a top two. Uh, but two is a three parter because it's ocean stuff. An insane amount of stuff has been happening in the ocean this week. Guys, first in Sydney, Australia, and you may have seen the headline, a 35-year-old diving instructor named Simon Nellis uh, was completely eaten by a great white shark. Um, yeah. oh, damn man. It. Completely <laughs> eaten. Like, just, just, Gone. I don't know if you, it's yeah. a viral video. I'm not going to play it because, it, first of all, it's like kind of silent. And you can't really see anything that happens, but it's crazy. Usually um, it like takes a leg or an arm and you bleed out. This, oh, no, he ate, just ate it. Ate him. Yeah, a big great. Oh, it's and that big enough? Six, it's, yeah, it this guy's six it five. Ate the person. Yeah. Yeah. Six five. Totally ate him, and it, and it was only like five hundred feet, like off the off the cliff. So like a guy was filming it. Uh, people assume he was mistaken for a seal, but I mean, just totally eaten. That's usually by a great what white happens. Shark, which is why I gave the orca fact. I mean, maybe we should team up with the orcas, right? Like a great white, it's just swallowing would, a guy whole. I would leave both. I would respect both and leave them both alone. Well, but orcas don't do that. The, you you can yeah. at least reason with an orca. They're, it's they're starting. It's it's coming. <laughs> we need to do we need, like we need to do something. We need to make sure the orcas trust us because, yeah, like Wes said, it's getting slippery. Yeah. It's, right now. <laughs> yeah. You got no real friends. In the slippery. Sea. No, none. No, no big ones. No, no. Yeah. So we thought we thought we had dolphins, but apparently the orcas just destroy the them too. crush them. They they hunt yeah. them for for sport. The, yeah. the, I'm telling we got to get these orcas on our side. Uh, the Coast Guard. Uh, this is the next one. Uh, said it received a call. Wednesday afternoon, uh, the 32 year old African American woman had fallen or jumped overboard uh, from the Carnival Valor cruise ship about 150 miles oh, offshore. No. 
of Southwest Pass, Louisiana, and they are still searching for her as we record oh, Thursday no. night. Um, and uh, yeah, and her husband is still aboard the boat. And so that's what the official thing is. But passengers who have released videos from the boat report that she was disorderly and handcuffed before she jumped off the tent. Oh, board. that's terrifying. And one guy even said he saw her uh, head face hit the surface and sink below. So, well, yeah, she was cuffed too. 150 feet is a. And she's yeah, cuffed. She can't, you can't swim handcuffed. No. So, I mean, just brutal for the whole ship, especially. That's husband. terrifying. It's, it's, yeah. it's terrible. Um, C is, C is no, no fun this week. Uh, and then the final uh, C story uh, is this clip from a ferry in Hamburg, Germany. Whoa. Whoa. The front of the boat oh, is being destroyed oh, by a wave. That guy in the front got wrecked. Everybody oh, yeah. Is the Dude, running like on a, uh, Seems like that. a... Play that again. Play yeah. that again. Yeah. on an amusement park ride. Yeah, watch, the, watch the guy in the front. He's... <laughs> yeah, he gets confused. Oh! <laughs> and the glass could have killed him, man. Oh, yeah, easily. It could have been, like, taking his head off. Pretty brutal. Yeah. Um, but, luckily, guys, everybody's okay. So I'm laughing so hard. Because uh, nobody got hurt. It's amazing so. how long it took the, the, the one guy who's sitting there in the red. It, it takes him, like, a good five seconds to realize, hey, I'm going to go back to the back of the Maybe boat. I should move. Yeah, I'm just going to leave now. Maybe I should move. Uh, but, you know, that was just a stormy river ferry, fellas. Damn. The sea is a tough son of a bitch. And I think the orcas could really help us out. Because uh, we're, we're not looking so hot. You. We're not looking so hot against the water this week. The humans. Um, yeah, we're outclassed. Yeah, just stay out of it. We're having yeah. a hard. Time. That's what I'm gonna do. Just stay out of it. That's a good idea, Wes. That's a good idea. Uh, which takes us to, except for we're gonna be in Florida soon. We gotta get in the water. You gotta get in that mean ocean. Yeah, put my toes in there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it takes us to number one or the cream of the crop. <clears throat> Always the cream of the crop, Chet Hanks, everybody's mm. favorite white reggae rapper, uh, trended for this headline from Vanity Fair, trying to trash him, and it did go viral. So they they, they got it done. Uh, Vanity Fair says Tom Hanks' son Chet claims he didn't have a strong male role model growing up. Damn. Then, yeah. Um. Yeah, okay. So what happened was. Chet has a new video series on YouTube uh, and he's it's it's called like self mastery or something like that. Um, and I and I watched it. It's a 14 minutes video. It's actually a pretty cool video where Chet talks about he says the two pe questions people ask him is about white boy summer and what's it like to be Tom Hanks son. And he just talks during the answer about how it's weird growing up as a kid of a famous person. And that it led him to be an insecure, like, uh, douche uh, who did mm -hmm. stuff like create White Boy Summer and be a dick to everybody. But Chet uh, claims no, he's... So he's saying he's a douche now? He's say, he says he's 31 now and beyond all that, he's doing his self-mastery program last year. on YouTube. Yeah. yeah. So, again, it's a 14-minute explanation. I didn't really feel like clipping down the best parts. You could just go watch it if you want to. Pass. Um, yeah, but he, he yeah. basically just says he wishes his dad had some more time for him growing up to help him guide deal like deal with dealing that. with the haters. Yeah. Right. Because basically Chet, Chet claims that like the haters drove him mad and that his yeah. dad was just a busy fucking guy and him being a little rich kid. He didn't have any guidance on how to deal with the haters and it, and it drove he him spent insane. more time he, with like yeah. the maids and the au pairs probably. Right. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense because if you think about all the movies Tom Hanks has done, which is a lot, you can just look at his IMDb page. He works hard. Yeah. They're big films that shoot for months on end and often in different countries. So there's yeah. like he's he's out of the house a lot. Yeah. yeah. Right. And Chet's just going to private school with right. his, you know, billions of dollars. Right. So right. I yeah, yeah I, I, I feel for Chet. I can like Mark mm -hmm. said, I can see this happening, but I hope he doesn't do the thing like Justin Bieber did where he ke like kept apologizing and then went and did another stupid thing. I can't I can't stand oh, right. to do that shit. Like, well, like <laughs> I, I'll, I'll forgive Chet Hanks if he starts on the right path and continues right. that way. But if he keeps acting like a douche after this and I'm done with him, I'll tell you what, Wes, you should you would enjoy watching it then because 
you you, like he's talking like he's remorseful for some of these things in his past but you can still kind of tell like the tiz is there behind the eyes still like well that's uh, what i'm saying this this is (laughs) he did white boy summer like literally last summer yeah last uh, and and him and his like girlfriend like she stabbed him and they got in a fist fight like last summer like all these things he's apologizing for you got to give it a little bit of time like time will tell yes you get you'll get a second chance but certainly i'm uh, i'm not you know i'm gonna wait a few years before yeah 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 no jury's still out but i'm just telling you this is what the the video is not it's everybody's trying to like trash him with the headline he's actually trying to it seems like i think he's just yeah I think he's trying to be in the news still. He's trying to get a headline, right? He's trying to trend, yeah. which he did. Uh, <laughs> and I wish Chet the best of luck in his journey, but now I'm just excited for Fat Boy Summer. You know yes. what I mean? The better. You know, that's right. New and improved. Good luck, version Chet. Version 2.0. All right. Uh, and speaking of Fat Boy Summer, today's cup of coffee in the big time was brought to you by the official bottom half of Fat Boy Summer. I'm talking about bird dogs. You know, you know the you know the company. They make the perfect shorts or pants. For any occasion in a man's life, Uh, whether I'm relaxing in the pre-lined shorts like I am most of the time, or I'm in the silky smooth joggers like I am pretty much all the other times, or I need to go to something fancy and I I throw on one of their pair of uh, khakis, that's like pretty much they got you covered. I don't know. Mm -hmm. There's nothing else that you would need any time in your life. They're comfortable. The former Lululemon designer makes sure that they hug your legs perfectly so that your legs look sexy when you wear them. Women are very impressed when you put on a pair of bird dogs uh, oh, compared yeah. to another pair of pants. Um, yeah, they, they like, <clears throat> they look at them and they say, wow, that's a lot better than the last pair of pants. And they look stay. at the guy they're with and they say, it's over. <laughs> yeah. And you say, all right, you ready to do it? And they say, yeah. "Ooh, yes. Keep your passenger door unlocked because <laughs> might be people coming in. Exactly. <laughs> it's literally the perfect <laughs> shorts and pants. Uh, uh, it doesn't get any better. Uh, the shorts, remember, comes standard with the silky smooth liner. The pants, it's optional. The 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 underwear liner. So, um, I I like getting my shorts with it, my pants without it. Uh, but you you do you. You know, Bird Dogs has you covered. Uh, if you're not wearing Bird Dogs, then what the fuck are you doing? Every dude needs a pair of Bird Dogs. Did Bird Dogs do it again, or did Bird Dogs do it again? Go to BirdDogs.com and enter promo code Hard News. <clears throat> That, what's that? That's new, Will. New promo code. Go to okay. birddogs.com and enter promo code HARD NEWS. All caps, one word. HARD NEWS. That and makes sense. It, and so we deliver. Free bird dogs whistle ball. Boom. Like this one. I'm showing you here. Uh, HARD you NEWS. Please use that code. You remember those on. Nerf Vortex Howler footballs? Mm-hmm. The whistle like when. Like when Tom used to tell Chet that he was doing another movie, you know, I got some hard news for you. Oh, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> Is it a big film? Yeah. Yeah, it's a big Australia. film. Australia. <laughs> it's hard news. Well, you put that promo code in. You remember those Vortex Howler footballs that whistle when you throw them? Yeah, it's that. But Bird Dogs slap their logo on it. It's genius. That's BirdDogs.com. Promo code hard news. Like Tom gave Chet. And boom, a free bird dogs whistle ball with your pair of bird dogs. You will not take these things off. I promise you. All right. Nice. Pack your bags. It's time for the TikTok international moment. But you know what? You can pack lightly because, like I said, we're going to stay domestic today. It's Friday, so I wanted to do some Florida, man. And uh, we're just going to stay around the Florida area, go to Alabama afterwards. Just one full, back. Nice. Full Florida, man, Friday episodes. Like a separate episode from this with, with all Florida band content can be found available right now at patreon.com slash hard factor. Check out our Patreon, please. All yeah. right. For, first up, let's go to Florida and let's meet. Let me see. Let me grab them. We're going to go to Florida and let's meet 55 year old Kevin Rich of Orange City, Florida. Mm-hmm. There he is for us to judge him by his cover. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> he, I mean, he's got his mouth gaping wide open in his mug <laughs> yeah <laughs> like is this what i'm supposed to do <laughs> it's like he's confused by what a camera is yes it's like he just saw that new victoria's secret model <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah you can't handle it exactly you can't handle um, it's exploding <laughs> all of your immediate thoughts are correct is this guy's a real piece of shit loser you see uh kevin what kevin decided to do he decided it was a good idea last week to stalk Two young underage Florida girls. He's like, let's do that, Kevin. Uh, mm-hmm. And a circle 
K, gas station clerk, said he sh he saw, or she saw, sorry, she saw two girls sprinting into the store part of the gas station, and when they got in, they were too scared to talk to her, and they just handed her a phone. She's, like, behind the counter at the gas station Circle K thing. They handed her a phone. On the other end of the phone was one of the girl's mothers explaining that an old man in a gray car had been following the girls and that they needed her help. Uh, so the attendant called the cops and like sheltered the girls. She's like, come on back here with Whoa. me. Uh, and when the cops got to the Circle K to ask the girls what happened, they said they were walking home with their drinks they bought from the, that same Circle K earlier when Rich, Kevin Rich, pulled up next to them, rolled down his window and said something inappropriate. Uh, they ignored him and walked away. And then he sped off and did a quick U-turn, pulled up right beside them on the sidewalk and started following them, rolled down his window and kept trying to talk to them. And that's when they took off running. They said they dropped their drinks. They dropped their cash because they just they just fucking ran back to the Circle K. And the cops found like their slushies with ice still spilled out and dollar bills at the part where they said they started running. Damn. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, you ever seen an old man jerk off in a gray car before? <laughs> <laughs> Funny you should say that, Wes. Um, Is that what he said? You've done Florida Man for a long time, haven't you? Uh, yeah. due, due to the girl's description, uh, officers were able to catch up and pull over Rich a few hours later lurking around a different gas station in his gray piece of shit car. <laughs> And when they got to his window, when they got to his window, they're like, they tap on it. And he's like, is this about those two girls from earlier? Uh, <laughs> without them even having to ask. That was the first thing he said. Uh, he then explained to the officers that he, wa he wasn't stalking the underage girls, that he was just pulling over to the side of Grand Avenue to, quote, smoke some crack and masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> So apparently, yeah, he had his dick in his hands when he was talking to the girls, unbeknownst to them. Oh, no. uh, thank God they didn't see it. They didn't know. But uh, he went on unprovoked and not waiting for his lawyer to say, those girls must have been startled by the masturbating. But again, it was not directed at them. They were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I was just masturbating. Yeah, I was masturbating way before Wait, I saw them. I was asking them to look away. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Why would uh, he admit that? All, he admitted all of it. He could have just asked for a lawyer. Yeah. Or, like, just not said anything. Uh, a quick criminal history check showed officers <laughs> that Rich has had 24 prior felony charges and 16 prior misdemeanors. But surprisingly, none of them were um, sex offenses or stalking charges. So who says you can't teach an old dog new tricks? <laughs> yeah, I learn something new every day. Yeah. Um, he's in jail for stalking and lewd behavior toward minors for jerking off and screaming at the girls that he was jerking off like hey look in here look by the gear shift you see what you're making me do what is that a slushy i've got a stiffy you know um ho hopefully hopefully due to his prior 24 felonies he's gonna jesus get some time to think about this one 24 felonies how is he well, what do you do with that guy i mean yeah. <laughs> i don't know why he looks so surprised this is his 30th mugshot yeah Again, the, the cameras keep getting just, better. Yeah, <laughs> he's, Every, he's, he's, the this is the nicest is one I've seen. Yeah, oh, that's a new one. <laughs> I didn't see a flash. What do you mean it went off? You sure it got me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the second he gets out, he's going to go jack off and do some crack uh, in his car uh, again. Can't 24 wait felonies. Crack. He's admitting to, to smoking crack and masturbating. All they thought, all they were going to be like is leave the girls alone. Like, he was going to get off completely right. scot-free. Yeah. <laughs> Stop creeping people out, I've been man. doing the same thing yeah. every day at this exact spot for I, years. And now I told him, come. I told him to find a new route home, you know, because yeah. this is my spot. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus. All right. Let's head to Florida's neighbor. Do you think homeless people oh. rotate where they jack off and when? Yeah. Yeah. They yes. definitely have, have some good spots, but yeah. Yes. have to, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like the street corners where they rotate, like, who has the street corner. Yes. Like, yeah, the, yeah. Al the alpha gets the street corner. <laughs> Same for the jerk-off spot. Yeah. I'm taking yeah. this spot. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> My wife just came in and said, "What are you? What are you talking about?" All right, let's head to the let's oh. head to Florida, out of Florida, and go to their neighbor for this next one, Alabama. All right, um, it was a scary scene this Monday morning at the federal courthouse building in Tuscaloosa. Um, Alabama's hazardous device unit was called out to check in to two suspicious packages that were left on the front steps of the courthouse. Not good, right? No, um, no. 
So this was the morning, Monday morning. Several teams of brave first responders. packages are just the worst. At the federal courthouse, too? Like, yeah. fuck, right? So several teams of brave first responders, in fact, leaped into action. They blocked off the road in and out of the courthouse. They risked their lives by approaching the packages um, because, look, everyone was thinking the same thing. There's a good chance these packages could be explosive devices, right, or have them in there. Mm-hmm. And what was in the packages certainly was something that causes an explosion, but it was something that causes a delayed explosion. Um, as it turns out, the only part of the courthouse that was ever in jeopardy and still very much is are the bathrooms, as the packages turned out to be Taco Bell deliveries. Oh, wow. <laughs> People didn't. Yeah, they were in that the, box? Uh, no, they took it. Oh. That's like it was inside of a different <laughs> oh, like, bag. Okay. Yeah. So Sorry. somebody had like a weird looking box like that they delivered it in. Right. Yeah. Like, like a, a grub hub or, box yeah. or something. Right. Yeah. Some other box, some other food delivery oh, box. Man. But the, the cops uh, spread it all out and took a picture. <laughs> um, That's hilarious. The packages were discovered to contain, quote, an assortment of regular and Doritos Locos tacos, along with four beefy five layer burritos. So someone really likes the five, the beefy five layer burritos. Well, that, that, that sounds like an office order, like, like, a, like a pot of people's order in that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they discovered it at eight. 8 a.m., which is way too early to eat regular Taco Bell items. Nobody's yeah. claiming not, this. not even breakfast. Yeah, nobody's going to claim this order. Before, yeah. It could it could have been for the night before. Like, but let's go with it. it was there delivered at 7 45 a.m. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. also this was on Valentine's Day. So my take yeah. is some lonely, depressed <laughs> oh, piece of shit no. that works at the courthouse. Maybe ordered lunch Taco Bell items for breakfast on Valentine's Day, a day that <laughs> clearly they overindulge every year. Like, what the hell does that person order for lunch? I hope that was a one person. Yeah. Order. <laughs> Burger King and a bag of crack cheesecake factory and a handgun. Like, what does this guy do <laughs> later in the day? If that's how he starts Valentine's Day, what it could have been. I have another theory. Someone had a 730 a.m. divorce court hearing and like uh, Grubhub yeah. or Uber eats one last giant Taco Bell meal from a 24 hour Taco oh, Bell yeah. with a delivery note. Uh, Please leave on courthouse steps <laughs> and hurry. I'm not sure how long it will be until I do something. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. Could have been a could have been someone going to court for something they really didn't want to go to court for, and they were going to have mm-hmm. one last Taco Bell meal. Yeah. What? 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 I mean, the, the last meal. Meet me at the steps. I'll be the guy in cuffs. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Taco Bell wouldn't be my first choice. What would you guys pick for your last meal? Last meal. Last shoot. free. Last meal is a free man. Yeah, but you have to assume. So they maybe like my the... favorite pizza. Yeah, but see, they're they're gonna fuck with it. Like is my theory. Like so, like you don't want. What if some... what? But what if like it wasn't in prison? Like you, not in prison. No. Like okay. this just yeah. perfect like, that, conditions. Like yeah. yeah. Okay. What would you get? Oh, I would bushel. say maybe favorite pizza. Yeah. Bushel of blue crabs for sure. Oh, quick blue crabs. Okay. I've had a good cheesesteak recently. Ooh. That's hard to pass up. Yeah. Oh, cheesecakes are delicious. I also am a sucker for a good nachos. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's the uh, TikTok International domestic moment. Beautiful. Nice. Um, okay. So we have uh, 16 voicemails, but they, like I said, there's some great ones, some good questions, some would you rather, some merry fuck kills. Um, so looking forward to it. But uh, let's get the uh, the reviews. Um. And the little business. Let's do business and reviews. Oh, right. right. I forgot. Yeah. I, I, it's well, me. Business. My bad. Business time. Fucking fuck. I it's just business. My... A little business. It's yeah. business time. Yeah. Right. Well, we were just talking well, we about food. Time it is. Well, now we're about to tell you business about business time. how to get free food, healthy food. Business. Yes, I am. If you guys just keep going, I closed the tab for that. We're going to talk about how to get food delivered to you. From not our courthouse, favorite provider, HelloFresh. Not the courthouse, um, but to your house. Hello unless fresh. you call your house the courthouse. And uh, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? Uh, you ever heard of HelloFresh? Huh? Yes. What is it? Yeah. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. So you can skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Those are and delicious, by the way. Uh, so, you know, that's why. Sounds it's good, Wes. Milk. Yeah. Four great things, huh? Um, HelloFresh offers convenient contact free delivery right to your doorstep. 
and easy home cooking with the family. So like I said before, I enjoy cooking uh, HelloFresh meals with my with my son. Um, it's a great bonding experience. You know, cooking is a very important skill to have to um, just in life, you know, impress the ladies down the road, impress the gentlemen down the road, whoever you're trying to impress, cooking is a great skill to have. So mm -hmm. HelloFresh is 30% cheaper than shopping at your local grocery store. Plus you skip the checkout lines, enjoy restaurant uh, quality meals for less in the comfort of your home. So uh, like balsamic fig sirloin, 72% um, cheaper than an average restaurant meal. And that's according to Zagat's dining survey. We, we know, we know how good Zagat is. Um, the best. So, yeah, over 90% uh, of the ingredients are sourced directly from farmers to ensure only the freshest produce and proteins are delivered right to your door. So you're not going to get any wilted, wilted bullshit. You're going to get high quality farm mm. fresh ingredients that you're going to love. Um, so, yeah, HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than a restaurant. Can't stress that enough. If you're short on money, you're going through, you know, you want to save a little money, maybe for a trip, maybe to do something, maybe to buy some bird dogs. Uh, HelloFresh can help you do that. Over $65 a month when you order HelloFresh instead of grocery shopping. That's that's, right. that's a lot of money. Um, there you go. Yeah. Because so. the, the flip side of that is like I can't afford to eat healthy and then you exactly. buy like cheap ramen noodles or whatever, mm -hmm. but they're bad for you, high sodium. Not with this. No. You no, can afford you can it. Eat, yeah, you can it's afford healthy. to eat healthy. Absolutely. So um, give it a shot. We think you'll like it. In fact, we know you'll like it. Um, so mm -hmm. go to HelloFresh.com slash HardFactor16. Use code HardFactor16 for up to 16 free meals and three free gifts. Uh, wow. Go to HelloFresh.com slash HardFactor16. Yeah. I mean, I can't believe I'm reading it. 16 free yeah. meals? Yeah. I, my, something must be wrong here. I, that can last quite some time. Sure can. Yeah. yeah. Um, HelloFresh doc, uh, hard, HelloFresh dot com slash Hard Factor sixteen. Use code Hard Factor sixteen. Sixteen free meals and three free gifts. That's yeah, number America's number one meal kit for a reason. So try that's it how out. many voicemails we have too? 16. Exactly sixteen. All right. All right, let's get those uh, reviews out of the way though. Okay, let's get the reviews out of the way. First one, we have a ranking. So just Ooh, gonna uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> says uh from K kentucky cats 38 hagfd hey guys just wanted to provide a more definitive ranking one mark two pat three west four will totally unrelated note did you know your names are in the same order alphabetically by both first and last name totally unrelated love the show y'all look great <laughs> have a great fucking day you know what i That's did not crazy. i did not know about the first names like no. I, well i mean i did but like i didn't put two and two together first and last name was look at that second, yeah. look at yeah. that so not only that that's crazy but but also, we talked a little bit about this on the Florida Man episode. Our names are something else. We need to figure out how to turn West into a verb. Oh, I found it on Urban Dictionary. Oh, really? What's really? a West? Yeah. It's fantastic. It's because um, now all four of us are verbs. Wow. It's it's you can it actually you can mark them. We can will something. Yeah. Now you can West something. Yeah, it's um. So there's two definitions. I like I like this one better. It's okay. wild erotic sex. So a girl and a guy meet. Yeah, get a guy, out of here. I swear to what God, you, on Urban Dictionary. Get yeah, out Urban of Dictionary. Here. Oh, that's the Urban Dictionary. For wild erotic sex. No, yeah. man, that's not. That's Urban Dictionary. Everyone. Why are you got... trying to discredit it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> get out of Let's here. See. What's the other one? What's the other option? The other option is world-ending stupidity. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want to go with that one now, huh? No, no, I don't. Go with the other one. <laughs> Urban Dictionary, get out of here. Yeah, well, there's no real verb for Wes yeah. in, in uh, okay. the Webster's well, or anything, but we'll, 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 we're, we're that's all we got. That's all we. That's all we got to all work right. with. Sorry, fair, that's fair sorry. We're working on it. Wild it's, erotic it's, sex. It's wild erotic <laughs> sex. <for laughs> do you th or do you wild think, extreme sex. Do you think it was a partner of yours, Wes, or a different Wes that put that on Urban Dictionary? <laughs> no, I probably, probably uh, you, someone probably else. Probably you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> just Wes this real quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you want to have some Wes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wes, let me Wes you, Wes you down real quick. What if uh, it was the same person that later broke up with a Wes and wrote the other one? Yeah, probably. Could go <laughs> hand in hand. They made uh, both. Yeah. Um, and the other one... Uh, Jordan Cesneros, mm. sending love from the 808. Uh, can y'all please spin the wheel for the good morning? And oh. The answer is no. Uh, yeah, the answer is no. The answer is no. <laughs> 808, is that Honolulu? Holy shit, Hawaii? 808? Hawaii? No, I just don't. Googled 808 area code and it says Honolulu. Damn. Wow. Oh, yeah. I thought Hawaii. I was thinking, like, I was thinking you Miami, but shit. That's awesome. Thanks for listening. Um, yeah. uh, the, the, I heard... Hawaii is one of the only states that's been growing in population recently, like no. or something like that. I'm surprised it's not just packed to the brims. It's so beautiful yeah. over there. Yeah, really. 
Well, no, you lucky bastard. We won't spin the wheel for a good morning that lives yeah. in Hawaii. Oh, wait, no, no, uh, that's not that's not it. Something else that they've that they're, 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 there's a good thing they're doing. That's that's just Hawaii. It's not how, only growing. How about this on the Patreons? We'll spin the wheel. If you sign up for Patreon shows, we'll do we'll rotate who does like the, the scream for the Patreon shows. Love that. Great idea. Okay. Yeah. OK, so you got to get Patreon if you want to hear. All right. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Great idea, Mark. Um, OK, let's get to they're some good at groups. having volcanoes. I tried to Google it, but no, it's not. They're not the only growing stuff, but they're doing something good. Thank you for listening. No listen snakes on Hawaii. Backer. That's a fun that's fact good. about Hawaii. No snakes. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. No snakes. No Big snakes. waves. Yeah. Hot chicks. Mm-hmm. Hot chicks. Um, nice. OK, first voicemail and forget it, it's I got a lot of them. It's been a while since I did this. I'm going to try my best to, uh, you know, do it correctly. But uh, let's go with now. Hard factor, guys. Best show in the world. World. Yes. World. I'm calling in today <laughs> to talk about just the hit of the decade. That's Ram Ranch. Maybe the hit of the century. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was introduced to that glorious song about four years ago by my brother. Uh, he's a few years younger than me. He's autistic. But he came up to me one time and just showed me. He's like, hey. You want to you want to watch a cool video? It was Ram Ranch. I <laughs> gasped. <laughs> I mean, it's vile. But did some more digging with my brother-in-law, maybe by myself too. Uh, <laughs> there's this Grant McDowell guy. He has he has hits. He he's made holiday editions of Ram Ranch. He's made just off the wall editions of of Ram Ranch. I mean, he he's a songbird. He's the songbird of Canada. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Have a great day. So, yeah, I looked into his 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 his, his discography as well. Um, he's got like thousands of albums and songs, right? Or thousands of songs on, across hundreds of albums. Are they all and, about gay cowboys? Well, yeah. And so what he does is he just does spoken word like erotic gay cowboy stuff over like stock beats. Right. So basically like he has like a a selection of beats Mm -hmm. that he just does different spoken word gay cowboy uh, poetry to. Which I I did a little digging. Would you like to hear a new one? Oh, absolutely. Yes. 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 What else you got? (laughs) Here we go. Yeah, young Wrangler cowboy. Got you in the back of my Ram truck. Your butthole I'm gonna fuck. Uh Uh-oh. Suck this big 12-inch stud cock deep down your throat. Suck it up and down, up and down, and up and down. <laughs> okay. Slap in your mouth this big meat cock. Suck it, suck it, suck it. <laughs> suck that big herd 12-inch meat cock. Ram it deep, 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 deep. Down, down, down. The breakdown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All <laughs> oh, right, I can't. Yeah, so that's all it is. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. He's done that thousands of times, unique yeah. editions. Yeah, that guy's dedicated. He He's... is something else. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, if, if, if the Grant McDa- M- Grant McDowell or Grant McDonald. McDonald. This guy might yeah. be more it's hilarious. Aggressive. Do you remember Sam Well? What? What in the butt? This might be more. Kind of, except. Sam Well seemed to have a little bit more like pizzazz and flair to him. This guy's just a little like, more production he's, he's value. Faceless. This yeah. guy's faceless. He don't even know what he who he is. He's just yeah. you know his yeah. name. And you well, know that it sounds like a few guys know who he is. Well, <laughs> yeah, Ram Ranch. Yeah, if you're in the back of his Ram truck, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, he's, you're acquainted. You're acquainted with him. You're yeah, familiar you're with him. Trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're in trouble if you're in <laughs> He's got gotcha. you. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, let's do the next voicemail. Hey guys, this is Joey from California. Um, I was just listening. Yeah. Joey. Joey. Can't hear him anymore, Wes. Oh shit. Uh, My bad. Mark. Can I replay it? Here we go. Okay. Hey guys, this is Joey from California. Um, I was just listening to the show today, and I had to pause it real quick because you guys made me really, really angry. Uh-oh. Oh. Um, Mark, don't you ever talk about Aaron Rodgers ever again like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. No matter what, he doesn't have time for these hussies 
in Hollywood, he has to focus on football and winning a championship for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, which is one one of. And people need to leave him alone <laughs> and stop talking crap about him. Okay? He's cutting out, John. John's so mad he's Packers, cutting out. Blah, 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 whatever. The guy is just trying to play football and do his Is thing. he? Leave him alone and stop trashing him. Please! <laughs> All right, fair enough. There was a lot of feedback on that. A lot of Aaron Rodgers fans said it was funny, but leave him alone. Yes. Well, I'm an Aaron Rodgers fan, and, yeah. I, and I, I think Who I think it? that Who? was that was well, a good joke. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of him as Jim a football Carey player fan too. Yeah, exactly. I think I think like they're both amazing at what they do. I'm a fan of Jim Carrey's comedy and body of work too. I'm a fan of Aaron Rodgers in the football field, but they're the both yeah. douchebags. Yeah. <laughs> And they can't handle a relationship because no one loves them. So, yeah, yeah, tough to. Oof. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's where right. the most similar. Uh, yes. Next one. Next one is a a science lesson about nuclear uh, fission. Oh, fission. What's up, boys? This is Joe Martha. Uh, just call in because I just finished listening to today's episode uh, where you guys talked about the fake suns in China, the fusion reactions that are occurring over there or they're trying to you know work into to create energy and had some questions about how you can get actual power from that Mm. so the common way of nuclear power is using nuclear fission which is basically some heavy elements that are shot with another neutron, basically, and then they crack into two separate pieces and some other byproducts and stuff like that, and that reaction creates heat. Split the atom. Well, the same thing happens when you do fusion, which is you're fusing together two nucleus, and that reaction also creates heat. Mm. So, and any time that you're doing either of these reactions in nuclear power, you're creating heat, which then will either Energy. boil water Energy, or it right? creates superheated water that's then turned into steam. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then that steam and then goes to some other piping and that hits a turbine and turns the turbine, which then generates electric power. Boom. Okay. That's in layman terms how nuclear power works. Love it. So I just want to throw that in there. Uh, Very nice. currently studying nuclear engineering. Nice. at the college I go to. So I just wanted to throw in a little two cents about what we're learning just Look, to, you, you know, go. in case anybody didn't know that. So, but y'all have a great day. And unlike me, probably Joe Matha will be alive to reap the benefits. Of yeah. Younger. Theory. Yeah. I think like your daughter will be alive to see. Right. It for sure. I am yeah. happy for yeah. Scarlett. And yeah. Joe. She'll, she'll get Scarlett and Joe will get the benefits of fusion. <laughs> so fission is breaking apart to create energy or heat and then fusion is putting fusing. together same yeah mm-hmm. okay. yeah fusion is easy to remember because it's fusing F- that's fusing. good to know at a dinner party yeah yeah no it's great I, yeah, yeah it, it's yeah, it's all just about the heat that was amazing though the way you broke that down about how the mm-hmm. whole thing works like mm-hmm. the, turbine, that, the rest of that steam. that's awesome yeah it's all so simple you know yeah Totally. Everyone can be a nuclear <laughs> physicist. <laughs> What's taking these guys so long, then? A couple pipes. Yeah. <laughs> Turbine, you know? They yeah. don't have the right copper yet. They're, they're going to get uh, there. Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, all right. This is a uh, this is a question. I don't know if I shared this question with you guys. I, I tried I to share I forget the questions you shared anyway. Okay. So. All right. Great. Right. Okay. Well, here we go. Yeah. Off the cuff. Yeah! Sounds like it. Uh, Jay Reed, 32, from uh, Twitter and the Discord. Hit me up. Sorry, it's been a little bit. Uh, wanted to do the uh, intro a little bit differently. Kind of tired of the opera stuff. Just trying out something new. Let me know how you like it. Like um, it. So I had a quick uh, would you rather make this nice, sh- nice and uh, short for Pat. Would you uh, rather go on a coast-to-coast long-distance trip with one of these four people? Kid Rock, Baker Mayfield, Jack Black or Justin Bieber? And uh, what's one stop you would have to, have to, have to make along the way? It doesn't matter. Coast to coast, anywhere in the United States. Let me know what you think. And then I also had one more question. Uh, have you guys heard from Yuri at all? Um, it's been a few episodes since I heard his name mentioned, and I know the um, 
stuff going on on the Ukraine border is getting a little bit intense. Wanted to make sure he's doing okay. <laughs> Wrote a nice little song for Christmas. Never heard uh, how he, what he uh, thought about it. Nah, <laughs> he's a little bit worried about him. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to we'll reach out to see uh, how he's doing. Uh, Other than that, I uh, hope you guys had a uh, great weekend and have a great fucking day. You too, Jay Reed. Now, I'll answer the Yuri question uh, with with something I saw recently online. So. Jay Reed, you need to follow Yuri Talachko on Instagram, and you know he's doing fine. Uh, yeah. you, you'd, you'd have seen his last few posts, and he's doing all right. He's, in his doing, pretty good. he's doing good. <laughs> yeah, he never got back to me on WhatsApp, which was our communication for the first two times he joined the show and, and all the communications. But and he, I think I don't know what happened with WhatsApp, but we reached out to him on Instagram DMs, yeah, Insta, yeah. and he got back to us, and he said, "Oh, thank you so much. I'm fine. That's very nice of you. I'm fine." Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, he's oh, he's good. Yeah, he's if good. you follow him, he, you could tell he's really thriving right now. Mm -hmm. He's, he's yeah. feeling it. He's doing okay. Yeah, he's yeah. doing okay. <laughs> he's doing more than okay. Yeah, <laughs> he's about to pop on some Ram Ranch. And go yeah, to he's, um, yeah. <laughs> you'd be lucky to be feeling as good as Yuri these days. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, okay, so the the road trip. Does anybody have the specific that, that know theirs? So it's Baker Mayfield, Kid yeah. Rock, Justin Bieber, Jack Black. You have to pick yeah. one to go cross country, and you have to pick a place that you would have to stop at. Yeah. Um, I mean, it just depends on which way you're going to go. Are you going to try to have a good time yourself, or are you going to try to do something epic? Because mm -hmm. that's that's what you like. That's what your that's what your options are. Um, yeah. uh, look, it's tough. I if if just to make it the most interesting, I'd say Jack Black. Right, like. That's a, that's a I don't want to go insane in, on the car ride, pick. but it's so yeah. long and he's probably smelly and stuff like he'd, he'd mm -hmm. be singing a lot, but he's funny. So, I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's tough. He's got a good I, sense of humor. He is yeah. funny. He's very funny, but it might be too much. Yeah. It's so maybe Baker Mayfield's the safe answer, right? Because you could stop at like um, OU and he's like a god there or, you know, like you'd stop like. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But then you bring up Odell Beckham one time and it, the trip's ruined. So. Yeah, he's got to stop to do commercials twice. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I think I would go. Uh, I think I'm going to go Kid Rock and I would go to Sturgis as the Ooh. place. I would go with Kid Rock. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Sturgis when Kid Rock performed. It's a it's a blast. Oh, I uh, bet. Be I fun. bet Kid Rock gets the crowd going <laughs> at Sturgis. Yeah, they love yeah. him at Sturgis. Um, I would also go Kid Rock, um, uh, but I'd probably do probably do a Vegas with Kid Rock. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, right. I, and this is me. This is me, but not now because I would clearly not be sober. This is um, yeah. This I just think that would be like the you, that's what you're going to get the most. Either that or like Bieber in Toronto or Bieber in L.A. Mm -hmm. Right? Because like if because you go like yeah, one of his shows. Yeah, I don't think I'd get along with Bieber though. I'll right, go, that's the thing is you yeah. might because Kid Rock you you could probably just stay on the other end of the car and like I'll go Baker Mayfield and I don't know where probably OU. you stop at OU. That's a good one. But Baker Bieber and Jack Black would all want to talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kid Rock wouldn't necessarily want to talk to you. No, well, you could chill. You could just say nothing for hours with Kid Rock. <laughs> the only thing he'd want to talk to you about is talking shit about Democrats. If you right. don't have that to yeah. say, then then he'd rather you be. You silent. got an FJB yeah. for me. Yeah. yeah. All right, then shut the fuck up, then. All right, yeah. Then. Can we put then the top. Then up? we won't talk. Then. Yeah. <laughs> it's forty degrees. You want to put the top up, kid? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I think that was yeah. a good question. Very good question. Um, all right, next one. What's up, boys? It's Tom from Chicago. I'm looking at Kansas City, Michigan State Slender. Oh, Michigan State Slender? <laughs> one is fucking uh -oh. central in U of M. So, you want to make Are sure you turning? I do that. Yeah. Um, yes, <laughs> shout out, uh, shout out my boys. Shout out, coming. Have a great fucking day. <laughs> nice. Uh, what? What? Uh, Quick must have voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> what did he uh what did he say about u of m he was talking to they're shit the shitty about ones central oh. and u of m are the shitty michigan schools michigan oh, state is the good the one good one yes. to get into yeah i got you, like yeah. harder to get into. we think we were talking about sport i don't know what pat was saying but shitty we're just throwing out michigan names yeah we, when we i don't talk know shit if he about meant i don't know if he meant admission wise or, or sports wise i have no idea i think yeah. it's easier to get into michigan state but i don't know like <laughs> like right i mean it's, That's, it is, uh, right? i don't know yeah, I don't saying know. it's harder no i don't know if it is i don't know if it is oh it's not 
Well, I mean, that's this guy claims that that Michigan State's a hard one to get into. But. Yeah, well, we'll believe you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, I got no problem with Sparty. No, no, no. no. That's where uh, uh, Magic Johnson went, man. Come on. Hell yeah. Um, Acceptance rate seventy six percent. That's high. At Michigan Where, State, yeah, Michigan yeah, State. That's that's high. I, I remember it being high that's when I was a high. kid. Yeah, I remember it being seventy six percent. That's high. What about a U of M? Uh, it's a huge school, bigger than Michigan State, I assume. It's one of the biggest, right? Biggest yeah, schools. it's like up there with Ohio State, I think, isn't it? Um, I'm seeing twenty three percent from Michigan. <laughs> oh, wow! So oh, way, smarter. way smarter, way smarter than Michigan kids. <laughs> They're just deluding themselves over at Michigan State. <laughs> yeah, seventy six percent. That's ridiculous. I think that's like an LSU number or with the old number before they won the title. Yeah, Yeah. exactly. Yeah. Send us some. Back when I got in. (laughs) Michigan State would have been up my alley. You know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) He's talking shit about Central Michigan. They're only 68%. Michigan State. Jesus. Jesus, Michigan State. I thought they were tougher than that. Yeah. <laughs> Me too, honestly. Wow. Um, all right, let's go. Let's keep it rolling. Here we go. <laughs> hey, what up, y'all? It's Gavin again. It's the day after trivia. I am currently sober. Um, that was a lot of fun last night. I can now say that I participated in one of those, nice. and uh, we won. Damn, that, nice. That was a lot of fun. We had a great yeah, good squad. Good uh, It was great seeing everyone – that I chat with on a regular basis from the Hard Factor Discord. It's a great seeing their face interacting mm. with y'all. I yes. think all listeners should uh, should should participate and play trivia because that was a hell of a way to spend an evening. All right, love the pod, love the community. Hell yeah, Gavin! Gavin, look, at that. look, yeah. look that that's exactly what everybody feels like too after their first trivia. Oh, I mean, yeah. like. It, it's such a fun time. Uh, Michael does it the best, the, our, our trivia host. Yeah, and it's it's it, like he can handle. He handles like big ass groups, and so like it once doesn't a month, matter how many of us show up, we've done like eight now. Fun. It's every month, and so much fun. It's like you know, you yeah. can count on it. You can count on a good time, friends. It's fun. It's yeah. good, and, and we don't like Will said. We don't run it, so it's professional. Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. It's great. right. It's not like us. Up no, there we're fucking we're, your night up. Like no. we, yeah. we're participants. We're just shooting yeah. the shit and having yeah, fun. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I fucked up. I, that was supposed to be Gavin's second voicemail, but um, I, I, I mixed them up. Um, oh, now you have one where he's drunk. No, now I have one where it's like pre trivia. So, okay. but he's got a question, oh. so it's good. Okay. Um, yeah, let me just share. That. He's trepidatious. Is, is, is trivia going to be fun? He doesn't know. Yeah, he didn't and know. He, yet he had a great time. Yo, what's up? It's Gavin. Uh, <laughs> getting hyped for trivia here in about twenty minutes. Every. <laughs> Listeners should be playing trivia, should subscribe to the Patreon. You didn't know my yet. first time doing trivia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, quick plug there. Hey, boys, listen, I was in a conversation with another friend yesterday. In your personal life, not like by units sold or whatever, what band do you think has the most bangers? I landed, we excluded the Beatles for some reason, just so none of us could land there. But I landed at Queen. He landed at Chili Peppers. Another friend landed at ACDC and Aerosmith. One even landed at Bruno Mars. I'm okay. just curious as to what you would pick. This isn't your favorite band. This is just out of, like, you know, famous bands that come to mind. Which one has the most bangers to where if you were out, you would recognize the song and other people would recognize the song? Love the pod. Okay. Okay. I think they hit some of the main ones. Um, they did. Mm-hmm. I probably would have guessed Chili Peppers before I heard that. Rolling Stones, uh, Led That's Zeppelin, throw them in there. Fleetwood Mac. One. Fleetwood Mac. I got a sleeper here. I got a sleeper here. Um, Foreigner. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Foreigner's one where yep. people would recognize the songs. Now, they wouldn't know who the band was, mm-hmm. but you could play like their greatest hits and it would be recognized at nearly any bar. Maybe um, Tom Petty. Yeah, Tom Petty. Tom I was going to say like John Denver too, like something like that. Yeah, like universally recognized, like like Take Me Home, Country Roads kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but by volume. Oh right, by volume, by, by number volume. Of songs. Um, I mean Sublime yeah. probably would have if they survived if they had longer. Been around longer. Yeah. Uh, um, 
got to throw in like Elton John, Billy Joel. I mean, Joel. Elton John for good. sure. Yeah. Billy Joel. That's yeah. another Joel one who's sure. got like a shitload yeah. of songs. Bob mm-hmm. Dylan. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But I think that he's right, though. The Beatles is probably number one. Well, yeah, for sure. sure, they have it, like they have that love Cirque du Soleil, and it's like three hours long, and it's just jam after jam after right. jam. Songs, like, you're like, oh my! You don't God. even know how many. Beatles how many number one hits did they have? Like Fifty. Yeah. yeah, I think I think they did a pretty good job. Yeah. Besides the Bruno Mars guy, it's a little, a little early for that, but yeah, yeah. The weekend, Michael Jackson, you know, Michael. Yeah, Michael, Michael Jackson. Jackson. Michael Jackson yeah. is a banger after banger, you know. Um, you get the rage sure. in there. I mean, yeah, I was like thinking Rage too. Like I, yeah. I, Maybe, again, I like Rage, but them yeah, and right. MJ. Yeah. Not I don't long know enough. if that's a universal think. banger. Like exactly. not everyone's bobbing their head to Rage, right? You right. know, like yeah. yeah. And everybody is bobbing their head to MJ, but I don't know if yeah. he put out enough songs to technically be like the guy. Vo- volume wise, he's, he's probably a little under the other yeah. ones. Yeah, mm-hmm. but bangers, yeah, good question, right. absolutely bangers. Um, all right, here we're gonna get to uh, Father Brian's voice, Brittany. Britney, yeah. Madonna, maybe. Yeah, Madonna. Madonna, yeah. yeah. Um, all right, here we go. Hey, guys. Uh, Father Brian here. Uh, obviously, a long-time listener, but first-time caller. In. Mm. But I've been meaning to call the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, so definitely um, sad. I'm not going to be able to make trivia this week. Uh, okay. I know it's been uh, – I didn't get last month either. Uh, taking a bunch of kids to a hockey game, so uh, I'm not going to be back in time. So hopefully it goes well. Uh, I guess, uh, you know, love the show. Really love listening in the morning. Gets my day off to a good start. And so I thought I'd ask a question. Um, and it's, of course, theologically based because I am a priest. But I yes. uh, try to see, all right, if you get to heaven, all right, big if, I guess. But if you get to heaven, what would you want to find out first? You know, what would you ask God? What would you want to know first? All right. Uh, mm-hmm. Love to hear what you guys have to say. Keep up the great work. Uh, God bless and have a great day. Bye. Wow, oh, heavy. Yes, yeah, so well, I, I, I forgot to play that one last week, Father Brian. That's my bad. So well, right what off, I want to know right off the bat, I'm going to hell. Hmm. Um, right, that's your that's your first sin. Yeah. Uh, I would want to know um, every everything about what happened with Jeffrey Epstein. I would want to know every single detail, all the truth. Of, mm. of of everything that happened with that. And that that's is, that's the top of my mind of the of the thing in my life that I would like to make that's know a good one, but details I of bet you'd get better answers from Satan. But yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Pro- he probably knows the more details, details a little yeah. better. Yeah. yeah. Um, He's probably got to give up the, the, the main facts to God. God though. would PG thirteen it for you. Right. Yeah. Um <laughs> that's a good one. I would yeah. ask him who his favorite person of all time was. Mm. Well, that's a good one. You know, because you know everyone's got like a favorite pet or kid or something like that. You know, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, but I do. I uh, wouldn't want to know who his favorite person of all time is, or like what his ideal person would would be. Mm-hmm. That uh, would be good. enlightening. Yeah. Yeah. What did I do wrong, guy? Who should I have been more <laughs> like? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Who should I have been Take more like? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd probably just want to know what was. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a cheesy answer, but like what, what was how like my family was doing back on earth or whatever, you know, like how they were, but how you just like, left them a day ago. Like, yeah, it's the first I, thing you ask them. Yeah. How yeah. are they doing from one hour ago? God. Well, first thing I ask them, I guess. <laughs> I, don't know. I think also yeah. Wes, hold on, because you technically would be able to watch them if you're in heaven. Okay. Cause, yeah. cause father Brian said we did make it. What are you most actually. curious about? Yeah. yeah. Well, let me, let me think about them. it. Yeah. I don't know. Really What's the going. meaning of life? How I would ask, I would also be like, you know how like a lot of people like die and get resuscitated and like I said, I'd be like, what, who do you send back and why? Like, what's your, what's your deal with sending some people back? Have you ever sent someone back that's gotten here and hung that's out with you for a little bit? Too. Yeah. Ghosts. Yeah. What's ghosts, up with yeah. ghosts? Yeah. yeah. Is the Our ghosts real? real? Yeah. yeah. Aliens. Aliens. You can, get, you can get every answer from God. That's okay. a good one. Aliens. What, 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 what if you ask them what happens in hell? Like, could it, what do you give right. you the real answer? Yeah, I just I mean, that's where I think I'm going. Anyway. You got to be careful with that one because he he can always just send you there. Yeah. Also, well, my high. question would also potentially get me sent to hell. Right. Asking about <laughs> Epstein. Yeah. This is what you want to know. Yeah. Good question. <laughs> Pushing the hell button. <laughs> yeah. Why don't I just show you? <laughs> um. All right. Here is um our weekly wonderful rock. relaxation. Rock. No, no, it's not. Oh. Brock's coming. It's Dallas Dave. Um, Dave, It's Dallas Dave. Long one. 
<laughs> What's up, Hard Factor boys? Dallas Dave here to talk Leeds United. And I'm here with a message of hope, optimism, and strength uh, and resolve. Because yes. I'm here to tell you, and particularly Pat, keep those jerseys. They'll fit just fine next year for the next Premier League season. We're not going anywhere. Oh. We might be dangling on the precipice of relegation, uh, particularly after that terrible loss to Everton. We looked like trash. But we have some good news because other teams look like trash too and potentially much worse. It kind of looks like the, the bottom three have sort of solidified themselves. Um, Norwich, Watford, and Burnley can't do anything. They can, they can barely score any goals and they surrender a lot. And I just don't see how they could make up the gap. Uh, Newcastle acquired five players, I think, in the transfer window in uh, January and they've won their last three games. They look phenomenal. Uh, or they look decent. They certainly don't look like they're necessarily going to get relegated. So that bottom three, as long as they don't come out and uh, and win a couple games back to back, that Norwich, Watford, Burnley bottom three, I think they'll they'll Sorry, stay. Norwich, and we might not look Burnley. great, and we might have to play sounds... uh, Man yeah. United, <laughs> Liverpool, and Tottenham over the right. next week. That's the next and we have games. a couple key player, players out, but uh, you know, get through the stretch. Who knows if we'll pick up any points. Just limit the damage, limit the injuries. Um, unfortunately, Calvin Phillips and Patty Bamford and now Liam Cooper um, have been out for a couple games. Stuart Dallas picked up, looks like a, maybe a minor injury, but who knows? He started over, I think, 100 games the last three years for us. He's kind of an Iron Man, jack of all trades, um, and he was our best player last year, uh, as voted by the players, I think. So, um, you know, we need to get some of these players back, but. We, we get through this difficult stretch, collect a couple points here and there. These other teams keep losing. Uh, it won't be pretty, but, hey, you just got to finish in 17th place or better. So That's keep right. the faith, boys. Keep those jerseys pat. They look great. Um, and marching on together. And, uh, and have a great day, boys. Great weekend. And M-O-T and H-A-G-F-D. Hell, yeah. You, there you go. Day. 17th place. One inch. You know, just move up an inch. And we're good. Stay an inch. Coffee. Yeah. Stay yeah, I mean, he, he look, Dallas Dave. You can hear it in his voice. He knows. He's a little. He knows. Weird. He he knows that 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 you know, there's a potential here to to have a bad stretch. But hopefully, we 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 he's right, and we stick it above those right. other shittier teams. We should just string all of his together for like a hour long ASMR. Oh, dude, I know. I'm just like about to pass out. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine Thanks, if he's. I hope he's not in like a like a managing position at work where he has to like explain things to people. Oh, I'm he's, sure he people is, are dropping so like long, flies. Mild mannered. Nobody's. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's really professional, but God, I wouldn't be able to stay awake. There's a lot of coffee in his office. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Um. All right. Next one. Here we go. Compliments. Thank you, though. thank you, Dallas yeah. Dave. Yeah, I love, I love the voicemails. Yeah, yeah no, that's awesome. And I, MOT. I mean, hopefully we MOT. get this done. That's right. Hey boys, this is Greg Riley calling in from Ohio, coming off of a roller coaster of a week. All starting on Friday with trivia, where I got my second win. Both Whoa. of them coming with uh, bartender's bluff. I swear yeah. he's a phenom when it comes to trivia. This Thanks, time we man. also had Pat, Big Bad Benji, and Gavin, who bet his life on a question because he knew that a duck was when you scored zero runs in cricket, wow. all because he got bored a while back and matched with some girl in the United Kingdom on wow. Bumble. So that was pretty cool. Then the Super Bowl came around and rooting for the Bengals, but unfortunately they couldn't pull it out. But it unfolded in just the right way that I was able to win my 28-1 to 1 parlay. So oh. made a good bit of money on, on the night, so what? not all a loss. And then came the McDonald's wheel on Monday. <laughs> the, you know, Heard that wheel spinning, heard Mark say my name, my heart skipped a beat. And then I went back and watched the video, <laughs> and boy, was that close. Unfortunately, didn't come out with anything, but had quite a ride listening and watching that. Um, so it's it's been a roller coaster of a week. Uh, my question for you guys is, uh, how long did it take for you all to get used to and get so good at referring to days one day off, like when you record? You refer to the day that you record as last night, and if something happens the, the, the next day, you can refer to it as today, uh, to put it in terms of when we listen. So I feel like that took me forever. I never get used to it. Um, but you guys seem pretty good at it, so I'm just curious how long it took you all to get used to it. Anyways, that's all I got. Have a great fucking day and a great fucking weekend. He said he really needed that wheel to move up an inch. On <laughs> he really did. <laughs> that's a good question, too. Uh, it probably took us... We were always aware of it from the start of the sh this show. We had different ideologies on it for a while, mm -hmm. I remember. We still do. 
Some people like <laughs> I think Pat really hates when we refer to the actual time. Like today's Thursday night at, at what nine eight thirty p.m. Central or whatever. Like he hates that. He's like, it's no, like, it's Friday show. It's so like he keeping up to, with a lie though. Right, That's what drives right. me crazy. It's like, well, well, we don't want we don't want news to break overnight and what, as why long as you're clear right? about yeah, it, yeah, right? right? Like so, when yeah. we say like if we say like today, I think that what yeah. he's getting at, right, is like okay, we're like we're like this is happening today. Like right. we're talking about something yes. that's happening Friday, right? Yes. Well, we're recording on a Thursday night, so like Correct. sometimes it's like so, earlier. In the show, I forget Mark was talking about something. Oh, yeah, chainsaw, right? So, like, yes. you know, Wes and Mark are going to chainsaw. Why wouldn't we, we say record. how chainsaw was if we right, already right. seen so it? Like, Why wouldn't as, we? Yeah. As long yeah. as you are descriptive enough and you're right. like, this happened prior to when you're listening. It's Sometimes okay. there's like catastrophes that have death tolls that are constantly updating and we're like at the time of the recording. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think it took us not too long to understand what we we're up against, but we just have. Yeah, we're just sensitive about and I you're, think you're that listening I, to this Friday show, so we want you to think it's Friday. And I think that podcasters in yeah. general have to get sensitive to that because yeah. I'm, I know our buddies over at Pardon My Take, they have to deal with the same issue because yeah. they record at night. So Yeah. And we yeah. do, like, basically, as soon as we're done recording, we edit it, and there's, like, an hour in between when it goes up. So, I mean, it is pretty... It's right. almost yeah. it's almost like live. It's like a one hour break. We're we're finished editing around ten thirty p.m. Central. It goes up at like eleven Central. Like it's not. There's really barely a break unless there's some sort of special event where we have to travel and we do there's the show. There's just like enough time yeah. where we could snag it down before it went live if we really fucked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we got used to it. I think pretty. Yeah, we just have different yeah. opinions on it. Yeah, yeah. I like. I just yeah. Anyway, good question. Though. Absolutely. Um, okay. This is a uh, Colin left too. He he disobeyed the. Um, Come on, the, Colin. The one, one week. Colin a week thing. <laughs> but this one is actually very good. Um, I, what was I, the last caller's name? Was. Um, that was it's Greg Riley. Yeah, Greg Riley. Yeah. Oh, Greg Riley. Yeah. I didn't recognize his voice. Yeah. Um, okay. This is hilarious. Boys, what the fuck is up? It's Colin from California. So I've got a movie pitch idea. Actually, it could be more of like a mockumentary style show, but it's going to be called The Little House. Now, this is a TV show that takes place in a maximum security prison, but everyone in everyone in this prison is a little person, including the guards. All the guards are little people. <laughs> maximum security. Now, now, you see it, though, and they'll be like door, and the door handles will be like to where they can't reach them to keep them out, and like... I don't know. I think it'll be a great guard. idea. And we'll have like little people with like face tattoos and everything. And there'll be different gangs and stuff. And uh, it'll track their lives in maximum security prison. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Right? And so the big house, the little house. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a fantastic idea, Colin. I would watch, <laughs> I would watch the shit out of the little big house. I don't know how you would get it to work. Like, how would you actually pull it off? That's another question. Well, I mean, they haven't but, had that selfish prick um, that stopped uh, the seven dwarves from the upcoming Snow Snow White. What's his name? The famous Dinklage. Well, yeah. Oh he's, yeah. Yeah. He's yeah blocking don't let him roles. hear about this. He's blocking all these roles, like you know Willow too. He's shutting it down. You know they haven't yeah. had they haven't had movies since. Do not let Dinklage know. Also, yeah. if the guards are also little people, how do they manage the prison if everything is inoperable to them? Do they have stools in the prison? Yeah, they have stools. stools. I think they have stools. Okay, but what if well, he wrote a script? Just steals a stool. You have to read the script. Yeah, this is great. I mean, the the images are hilarious, Colin. So I'm, I'm a lot of potential. You I just like round, yeah, round them up and we'll watch. I think it's I think there's a lot there, but yeah, um, a lot there. Yeah, I'm looking right. forward to reading the whole the whole thing. I know he yeah. sent a detailed version. Yeah. All right. This one's hilarious, too. Great question here. Hey, guys, Tony from PA here. So I want to know if you guys have like a preferred place to take a shit whenever you're on the road for a road trip. Me personally, I live in central Pennsylvania, so there's always sheets around. Uh, so I typically always go to a sheets. I've always had good experiences with their bathrooms. Uh, but like, if it's not an emergency, obviously I wait for them. But if it's a big emergency, I stop by the nearest gas station that's there and go destroy that toilet. So <laughs> yep. yeah, I want to know what your favorite go to rest stop is when you have to take a shit on the road. Okay. As always, have a great fucking day. Mm, you too, Tony. Another great voice, Tony from PA. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I got my answer. I know Go for, for sure. Me too, Buc for sure. Bucky's. Yeah, if you have it. Yeah. That's... Bucky's one hundred percent. I mean, I don't have them out here, so I would just go to any other truck stop that I could go to. But Bucky's, if yeah. I had a Bucky's. Go for it, Wes. Uh, a, a hotel. Uh, one hundred percent. A hotel. Ooh, hotel lobby bathrooms yeah. are nice. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 
You just you pretend like so pretend many... like you're checking in. Yeah. Oh no, you, I've done, done it so many times. Either. You just put your put your ear up to the phone, act, do a, a fake conversation, right to the bathroom, and you're genius. in, and it's clean, it's beautiful. Wow, that's genius. Yeah. I was I'm more along the lines of I mean now hotel probably, but I was more along the lines of will like a truck stop. Any any public stop that has more than one like it's not unlocked to work with more than one stall because that right. means they have to clean it regularly mm-hmm. you know well truck stops yeah exactly they're yeah. cleaner than like right. a than like a, a gas fast station food. with a key right. or fa- yeah fast food you know they probably don't clean it when they go home no That's so right. yeah. yeah so i would always go yeah. bucky's and then yeah. i think you should just stick to the good chains where you are like the one out where i'm at now Sheets is maverick is, be- is out here maverick out west and then yeah, yeah bucky's down texas sheets yeah. over on the east coast treat yourself to a hotel next time boys yeah i'm going to now yeah that sounds i mean <laughs> yeah. now that you say it it makes perfect sense yeah 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 um all right let me pull up this next one this is uh from josh from north carolina good morning <laughs> nice <laughs> What's up, you handsome fellas? This is Josh from North Carolina. Hope you're all doing well today, especially U.S. Will, uh, had a phenomenal time with you in Nevada. Yeah. Um, from what I can remember, it was yeah. uh, it was a blast. Uh, Pat, uh, it's good to see that you and the family are uh, back to being healthy again. As a father of two, Ooh. I know we battled it pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good. <laughs> Uh, on, on this end, uh, when it comes to either the daycare flu or anything else in between. Um, and then Mark, 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 who is most certainly in the top four of my hard factor host rankings. Thanks, Josh. Um, a couple things, buddy. Um, a while back, you, you he referenced – uh, Mr. <laughs> Dell Earnhardt, um, a.k.a. Uh-oh. Baby Jesus of North Carolina. And you call him the Dominator, is that not which is nice, thing? but the, ex- not, the Intimidator. He, he was right. called the Intimidator. The intimidator, intimidator whatever, right? whatever, whatever. Hmm. Intimidator. And with As a OR. big J journalist, I expect <laughs> oh, no. I expect more from you. Do your research and then He dominated the track. <laughs> learning Dude, lesson research. and I expect better from you moving less. forward. <laughs> but a couple questions for you, buddy. Fuck Mary Kill. Oh. You've got Joe Rogan, Elon Musk, and Greg Abbott. Mm. And then the other portion, <laughs> Fuck Mary Kill, you've yeah. got the white thumbs up, yellow thumbs up, and black thumbs up. You guys <laughs> the emojis fucking day. Emojis. <laughs> I don't know about the emojis. I'll do the I'll Fantastic. do the Rogan. And, uh, yeah, just chop the emojis up to a joke. Yeah, I think yeah. I think it are definitely for you because that's your like three least favorite. Yeah, people. yeah that was for me. He texted me today. He's like, I left a voicemail. He didn't mention that he was going to do all that. Um, <laughs> shout out, Josh. Uh, all right. So I think it's pretty easy. I think you um, um, now again, I, I wouldn't want to kill anyone. So don't come after me. The state of Texas. Well, it's I, FMK. All right. Yeah, I'd so. probably finish the job. The tree almost did with Abbott. So <laughs> he's out. Um and then I'd fuck Elon Musk because I, I'd I'd marry Joe Rogan because he's a better conversationalist. I don't want to hear Elon's weird voice and deal with him. So I'd just have sex with Elon. But Elon's Bounce. got so much more money. Yeah, but I, but Joe Rogan's at he's least he's plenty. still so Joe rich, Rogan's yeah. rich and he's funny and you can talk with him. I I couldn't hang out with Elon Musk. No, nice. so that's the easy one. Okay, there you go. All right. You don't want to tackle the emoji? No, I'm good. <laughs> Snake. <laughs> you guys go for it. <laughs> no, I'm good too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm done with the whole emoji yeah. color. Yeah. I, mean, I, th- I thought it was a. I thought it was a great conversation. It was. And I think. I think at the end of the day. Yeah, it was funny. The emoji at the stuff. end of the day, like it. It probably like it's a th- it's fucking emoji colors, and it doesn't matter. But I just like. The fact that people could potentially get upset about that conversation is just so ridiculous. The, yeah. the emoji colors, like to me, but. Yeah, they, Josh, they Josh, long time listener. He's been texting me since our first Vatathon where he was the biggest donor for that. Mm-hmm. That's right. And hung out with what Will recently. In, yeah, in that's right. He came out here. Uh, yeah. He was friends with the uh, coaching staff. Yeah. yeah. Hope you're doing uh, well, Good too, arm. Josh. Thank you. Um, Dominator, right. right? It's the Dominator. No, Dominator. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. We're going to have our uh, our uh, weekly Amish fact. Nice. Good morning, boys. Amish Brock calling in with your Amish fact of the week. Now, I was inspired by the new segment, Which One's Worse, to come up with the most fucked up fact I could find about the Amish. (laughs) And 
I did some digging and it gets pretty rough. So I fell down a rabbit hole of the rape culture that's running rampant through the Amish community. Now, apparently, these cases don't get reported to the outside as much as they should because they tend to handle their own issues inside their community. It's military. I did some digging and found out that the punishment for reported rape is about the same punishment for underage drinking in their community. All it entails is shunning from the church for a couple weeks. Now, this is pretty messed up and... Uh, I'm going to take a different look at the Amish people I, ex- I come in contact with every day just to <laughs> make sure they're not trying to get in my pants or anything. So uh, have a great fucking wow. day, boys, and uh, watch your back around these Amish bastards. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's going to piss off the guy. Yeah, so which one's one. worse? It just that, that, There was no option. That's no, just a terrible rule. Right. That rule is worse. Yeah. Yeah. Thank that's you. a tough one. Oh man, that's a bad look for the Amish. That's really the, all they do. I yeah. believe them too. We're, because, we're doing yeah. no fact checking on these. We're just going with them. No. No. Gonna we need it. someone to defend the Amish in these voicemails. <laughs> yeah, they can't hear us. Um, like, yeah. Man, yeah. that's tough. Right. I mean, how many I, more we got? Two more. Okay. Two more. Here we go. All right. <laughs> Watch them run these Amish <laughs> bastards. <laughs> What it is, what it do, Gorilla Dicks. I'm AJ, and I wanted to provide a little bit more background on how Ashley from Alexandria and I decided to lie to our future children about grass. Nice. Uh, yes. We had to break a few eggs to make this omelet, and since it's Valentine's Day, I can't think of a better way than to say I love you, Ashley, than to embarrass you in front of the whole hive by telling you wow. the dumbest idea we talked about. Uh, uh, so at first, Ashley thought it would be really funny to try to get away with telling them that all birds were actually robots. Like they were Mm -hmm. literal robots inside with bird feathers on top, but masquerading for some reason as animals. Some people believe that. And I think we decided that we couldn't get away with that long enough because it was just too ridiculous and that it just wouldn't be embarrassing. So I had some lousy ones too, but I'm not here to bring the thunder on myself. Uh, Now I want to know, Boys, what's the most embarrassing lie each of you actually believed for way too long? And if any of you comes up with a better lie than the whole grass thing, uh, we might actually use it on our future kids. So love you, boys, and have a great fucking day. So what was the grass one? They're going to tell their kids uh, that grass is like fake or something or like that. um, What was the grass thing? She wrote it in. uh, But they were right, right. But it was just an idea that they came up with. They hadn't told their kids the grass thing yet, I don't think. Um, Well, okay, so I don't know if you're on the Discord server, but the best one of all time was dropped on the Discord server, mm -hmm. which was... um, Not Chandler uh, Bing's dad. Dad told her that men can't control their farts. Mm -hmm. So he lived in a a female house and that he was just allowed to fart all the time (laughs) but women can so they had to she had a sister and they had to leave the room to fart they couldn't fart around him but he farted in front of them he's like i can't control it you can't beat that and she believed it until she was like in like met her husband and he farted in front of her and right and he "Mm -hmm." spilled and he and he spilled the beans he was set up for success but yeah so so that's the best one that you can't beat that i don't think i I don't think that that's beatable um I never really had like a except I, I shared the one that, that my yeah. parents told me that it was a, a shrimp was lobster um, when I was young, but that was like the only really lie. Yeah, you know? my parents are pretty honest with me. My dad told me he loved me a lot, you know. Yeah, that was a lie. That was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't Just know. You're handsome. Just kidding. Uh, I don't yeah, know. I can't yeah. remember what the longest lie I believed was. Yeah. Oh, probably that COVID didn't come from a lab. Yeah. Mm. There you go. Um, you can uh, tell them that. <laughs> 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 go ahead and tell your kids that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tell them Epstein killed himself. Yeah. I, don't know, I like the fart thing. We'll have to we'll have to work on it because we tried to the do fart this. Thing's the other, the best. Yeah. Something along those lines. Yeah. 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 It's hard to remember your own, though, because they're from all when you're a kid. That pee right. is sugar. You pee out pure sugar. So I think the, the pool one is actually one I believe for a long time. That, that you the, the oh, pool. that it would stay in, stay in the water. Yeah, that it would turn color. I believe that one for yeah. a while. Yeah, change yeah. the color in the pool is mm-hmm. a good one. 
I peed immediately when they told me that, and I knew right away. <laughs> I was petrified to do it. <laughs> <laughs> no way, Jose. <laughs> I got enough problems. I think I was already <laughs> peeing while they were saying it. Yeah. yeah. What? Um, oh, by the way, uh, uh, going back to Josh's uh, voicemail, uh, wishing Pat um, and that he's, his family is healthy now. Pat, right on, oh, on the yeah. Patreon Florida and Friday, yes. shared with us that his nails from this Coxsackie are just falling off. They're curling backwards on his hands. It's right. It, 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 we had a hilarious discussion about him shaking hands tonight. It is. It's bad. He has permanent nail damage. No, no, no. So part of the virus is that it shows up like as a blister under your fingernail, which yeah. eventually just crushes your nail. So he's his like nails are peeling, back. hanging on to these these nails That's that should gross. have like fallen off. It's yeah. it's yeah, it's not great. So so Josh, unfortunately, I mean he is he's recovering, but yes. uh, his fingernails are at their worst stage. Right? They're like, are you doing a, a chainsaw bit here with these horrific nails? <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we imagine him shaking everyone's hand, being like, Jesus, you, you shake that guy's hand tonight. Like, oh. He was joking on the on Florida Bit Friday that he's gonna wear gloves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it it's is scary. Rough. Yeah, it's scary. You don't want to catch hand, foot, and mouth. That's for sure. All right. Well, let's do the last one. Last voicemail. Hey, what's up, guys? I just wanted to call in and thank you guys personally for the great shows you guys do. Uh, I started listening about two months ago nice. and uh, literally have not stopped since. Yes. Um, and yeah. like that, I just wanted to thank you guys personally. Put a shout out to my daughter every time you guys start with the good morning. So, um, yeah, so just have a great fucking day, man. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. There you Wait, go. What, what do you say about his daughter in the good She gets scared every time. Yeah. Gets, uh, scared okay, so, or they, yeah, they do it yeah. together? I don't know. I thought I was, well, I hope they do it together. Yeah. I, 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 I was informed that I scared my own daughter for the first time. <laughs> oh. she, she was used to me because she heard it throughout yeah. through the womb yeah. of everything. She mm. was used to it the whole time. And then she was like in a different place one day because we like recorded at a different time than we normally do i'll tell you throwing off her routine at this age is, is, is something else <laughs> and, uh, maybe yeah. i maybe i misheard it i think he said shares it with his daughter him and his okay, daughter good. right yeah. well there i'm glad yeah. they're sharing it yeah. i literally scared my own daughter recently because i did it at an hour she wasn't expecting it wow yeah. that was something yeah. else whoops well, yeah and thank you for the kind words we love those mm. um and uh welcome to the to new the listeners yeah absolutely yeah. what about you Thank you for listening. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this week. Um, nothing more to say. We just hope you have a great fucking weekend. Enjoy yourself. Be safe. Oh, we spin love the you. wheel. Oh, we got to spin the wheel. Damn. Do you have it up? So close. Close. I don't know. No, nope. so close. You, wow. you were about to just. I was about to. to just I should have let you. You were on a roll. My bad. <laughs> yeah, <well>. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Wes was in his comfort zone. He was passionate. It was like when he, it was like was. When he hit the there roll. There's nothing the left to say, <laughs> and uh, we love all of you. Yeah. Very emotional. Yeah. I'm he sorry. Heaven. It. <laughs> it's my bad. That's okay. I love the wheel. The wheel gets my yeah. juices flowing every time. Right, That's here so we exciting. Go. We gotta incorporate it more. <laughs> back again who's, who's gonna be the, the cup of coffee in the big time it's slowing down it looks like me oh, it's gonna be mark for sure yeah yeah for sure oh oh, oh it yeah. is mark. No, oh. Mark. barely mark Woo. i like it when i have the whole weekend of news that's true yeah, yeah it's true that's nice. yeah. That's i like nice. tiktok on sundays mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. lots of good picks that's that's true when you when you get when you when you when you land the spot on friday you always have lots of good picks oh yeah pat's right. on tiktok right, Pat, there it is <laughs> The W's okay. will bring you some other fresh news. Hell yeah. Now, Wes, do your thing. Well, um, yeah. Um, nothing more to say. Um, indeed. Uh, we do love you. We do appreciate you. Um, we hope you have a great fucking day and a great fucking weekend. Got you in the back of my Ram. Hard factor. Cheat on the news. Patreon.com slash hard factor.